Hey guys, it's me, Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time, thank y'all for stopping by. Today, we're going to make some fiber cookies. Um, I'm going to have the ingredients listed below as usual in the description area. And right now, we're just going to start off by putting everything together. I'm going to start off with the pumpkin puree. And everything that we're putting in here is going to be high fiber, so it's really going to help you get get you going then applesauce and it's a quick recipe so on this video I'm gonna go ahead and do two recipes and then I'm gonna put the egg in there okay mix it all around then I'm gonna add in the protein powder you can add whatever protein powder you want whatever you have and whatever you love. I'm gonna add my cinnamon, my pumpkin pie spice. And then I'm gonna add the raisins. You know them raisins are very high in fiber. Well, I believe them to be because I remember when I was young, my grandma would give them to us when we were having some problems, if you know what I mean. Okay, then I'm going to put the oats in there. Okay, let me change tools here. All right, I'm going to use my little handy dandy spatula. Okay, mix it as much as you can before adding the honey and the honey's just gonna help it stick even more my husband loves these I'm also gonna add some chocolate chips in here okay now I'm gonna put the honey at this time guys go ahead and have your oven preheating at 300 degrees you don't have to put the chocolate chips in there if you don't want to okay so if you have one of these little scoops use them go ahead and use it so that you can they can all be the same size if not use your hands Okay, so I finished making all of the balls and it ended up making 25, so I had to pull out a little foil pan. I'm gonna get these in the oven. The oven is ready at 300 and the recipe says it could be in there for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave them in there the full 20 minutes since I made so much. So see you in a bit. Okay guys, so while that's in the oven, we're gonna do a no bake recipe. We're gonna do some energy balls. So again, the ingredients for this recipe is going to be down below as well. And I got this um, recipe from Penris. So we're going to do this peanut butter. We're just going to mix everything together. And I think this one says it makes up to 15 to 20 energy balls. And you can store it in the refrigerator up to one week. But it has to be covered. Okay, so... I'm just gonna start adding everything little by little, mixing it all together. Not sure if there's a specific order to put all this in. It just said dump everything in there. In there. I'm trying to learn as much recipe, much recipes as I can. I'm always pushing myself to keep learning. But there's still so many recipes that I want to learn. I haven't never done energy balls. I have done the fiber balls that uh, we're making in the oven, and that really does help us, but I've never made energy balls. And every time you see chocolate chips, you don't have to add it if you don't want to. If there's um, things you don't like for a recipe, tweak it up and make it the way you want to make it. Just working and working. It's toasted. It's a toasted coconut. They didn't have any. I did put this in the oven for a bit, but not long enough. 
you don't like coconut, don't add it. Okay, I have everything mixed up. Next step is cover this with saran wrap. I can't find mine, so I'm going to put some full paper. Put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And then we will finish them up. Okay, guys, it has been 20 minutes, and they're staying together. Looks good. The to be falling apart. These look great. Um, I'm going to let these cool down. If you have a cooling rack, go ahead and transfer these on there. I'm just going to let them go ahead and cool. It, it was only cooking on 300 degrees, so it's not even, the pan's not even that hot. Um, but, like, don't touch it, but... I'm going to go ahead and just let it cool, and whenever I am done, I'll put them in a container and put them in the refrigerator. And these should last about a week as well. Okay, guys, it's been 30 minutes. It's given it time to, supposed to make it easier. And um, these are no bake. And I'm going to go ahead and roll them as much as I can so I'm going to fit them all in here okay so we have 5 10 15 I'm hoping it makes at least 20 um, my husband and my daughter already ate one and they really really like these my favorite are the fiber cookies I haven't tasted this one yet, but my favorite is the fiber cookies, and it used to be my husband's favorite. Now he says these are his favorite. He really likes these right here. And if you want to leave these in the refrigerator a little longer before you make them into balls, you can do that too. It's just to help you um, so they don't fall apart whenever you are rolling them up. But I'm not having trouble at all after 30 minutes. It's actually pretty easy now I'm curious to how they taste since everybody's choosing these over the fiber cookies because the fiber cookies are so good they are so so good or the fiber balls I mean okay so this made about 20 I was hoping it would make more okay so let me try a little one tastes like like oh my god if you like Reese's pieces you're gonna love this these are really good okay I'm gonna also transfer the fiber cookies into this as well since they need to be refrigerated well since they need to be refrigerated okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and put my fiber balls in here with my energy ball since everything needs to be refrigerated and the energy balls are really delicious. I'm not going to even lie to you. I'm not even going to try to front. But these fiber cookies, oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm really into these fiber cookies. So, those are still my favorite. Okay. These are going to go in the refrigerator. And these are done. These are ready for the refrigerator. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you are looking into trying an energy ball or um, some type of fiber ball, this recipe, I really highly suggest these. They were both so good. And I know that those fiber balls work because we've tried them before. And believe me, they worked for us. You got to remember, you have all that high fiber in there from the applesauce, the um, raisins. What else did we put in there? I can't even remember. Anyways, as always, the items are in the description of everything that you're going to need today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, guys, if you liked it. Um, that really helped me out. Welcome to the family. And until next time, have a blessed one.